everyone. It's Cassie from the Wood County District Public Library here with another Bunnies Book Club story time. Have you signed up yet for our Bunnies Book Club on Read Squared? If you haven't and you are in preschool all the way up through fifth grade, you can head to wcdpl.readsquared.com and sign up today. It's really simple and easy. And when you sign up, you will get a bunny friend of your very own. You can read to your bunny. You can do all sorts of fun activities that we've put on the site for you to do with your bunny. And the more that you read and the more activities you complete, the more chances you'll have to win a special raffle that we're holding in December for Bunny's Book Club. So if you haven't already signed up, please head over to Read Squared and check that out. It's going to be lots of fun this fall to be part of our Bunny's Book Club. For our story today, I am going to read a brand new book that is one of my favorite books I think I've ever seen come to the library. It's called A is for Another Rabbit. I really want you all to be able to see and appreciate the pictures in this book, so we're gonna go to a slightly different angle to check out this story. And I'm going to get my friend, Miss Amy, to help me. A is for Another Rabbit by Hannah Batzel. A is for A Rabbit. Wait! Rabbit starts with R. Yes, but A Rabbit starts with A. B is for Bunny. Well, yes, but isn't bunny just another word for rabbit? C is for, can you believe how many rabbits are on this page? Let's count them. Now, hold on. This is getting out of hand. One, two, three, four, five, and one grumpy owl. D is for, don't worry. I promise that I'll choose a different animal for the next page. But for now, delightful, dynamic, daredevil rabbits. You better keep that promise. You know something I'm noticing? These are some very big words. Sometimes when we find a big word in a book, we don't know what it means. But that's why we have our dictionary. And we can look up a word like dynamic and make sure that we know what it means. So if we go to the D's, D-Y, dynamic, active, vigorous, and forceful is what that word means. I've used my dictionary to look up a lot of words in this book, so I'll be telling you what they mean as we read. But for now, let's see if I've kept my promise to the grumpy owl. E is for elephant. Finally, this can become a proper, respectable alphabet book. I, wait a minute, there's something strange about that elephant. F is for fine, you caught me. That wasn't an elephant, and neither are these feisty, fantastic, fluffy tail the rabbits. Look at everything that they've done to build this elephant. They've got some paper towel tubes for its tusks and some cardboard and some big piece of pipe that you might use for all sorts of things around your house if you're doing some home improvement. I wonder what you could find in your house to build an elephant with. G is for goodness me, another page of rabbits? Now, look here. I may be small, but I refuse to be pushed around by a pack of long-eared, carrot-eating furballs. If you don't stop this nonsense, I'll... H is for hair. Hairs look similar to rabbits, but are larger, wilder, and have even longer ears. I is for... I've never seen such a gorgeous rabbit. Look at that beautiful coat of fur. J is for just another rabbit, nothing to see here. 10 letters in it and nothing but rabbits. We'll both be fired. K is for kit. Hmm, kite, eh? Well, that doesn't look like an animal to me, but 
At least you didn't say. Not Kite Kit. Kit is the name for a baby rabbit. L is for long ears or short ears. Each rabbit's a prize. A rabbit's a rabbit no matter the size. Oh, are you a poet now? Here's a poem for you. You've messed it up so much, I can't bear to look. You and your rabbits have ruined this book. M is for my dear, dear friend. You seem a little tense. Why don't you put on some slippers and rest for a moment? Yes, I, I think that would be best. There's still time to rescue this book, after all. Look at what kind of slippers we're giving him. And is for nowhere near as many rabbits as I could have put on this page. I wanted ten, but I've only drawn nine for your sake. You're welcome. Oh, is for... Oops, I didn't mean to disturb you. It's just difficult to control so many overzealous, obstreperous rabbits. Where did you learn those words? From my dictionary, remember? We talked about the dictionary earlier. So overzealous means very, very, very excited and energetic. And obstreperous means noisy and hard to control. P is for poor thing. All of this stress has gone to your head. I think you need a vacation just for a couple pages. Why don't you let me take over? Well, all right, but... Just for a few pages, though. He was for quiet. Is he gone? Yes, yes, yes. I've been waiting for this next letter ever since we began. Are you ready? So you, do you know what letter is coming next? What comes after Q? R is for rollicking, running, riotous, rushing, rambunctious, rampaging, racing, dreams of rabbits. S is for stop. I knew you couldn't be trusted by yourself. T is for too late. Tons and tons and tons of tiny, tenacious rabbits. Up rabbits, down rabbits, rabbits on swings, rabbits with roller skates, rabbits with wings. Very small rabbits and tall rabbits too, artfully painted in yellow and blue. Do you recognize some of the paintings on this page? I do, except they're all a little bit different from what I have seen with these paintings before. They've all got rabbits in them. So we've got the Starry Night, but our rock looks like a rabbit. We've got the American Gothic Farmer painting, but it's all replaced with rabbits. How many of these do you recognize? White rabbits, black rabbits, rabbits with spots, hop rabbits, lop rabbits, top rabbits, lots, xylophone rabbits, and rabbits on drums. One rabbit sings while the other one hums. Young rabbits, old rabbits, every age, rabbits on carousels, rabbits on stage, high flying rabbits and rabbits in lace, rabbits cavorting all over the place. zero on this page. You've earned it. All clear. But there sure are a whole lot of rabbits right here. Look at all of these rabbits. I think this is every rabbit we've seen in the book so far. The end. So that was A is for Another Rabbit by Hannah Batzel. What a fun book, didn't you think? What I like most about it is that there were so many new words to learn. I showed you my dictionary while we were reading and I told you what some of the words meant, but I didn't explain all of them. Some of my other favorite words, and maybe you can go back through the video and find which page these words appear on, are feisty, and feisty just means really spirited and fun-loving. Also, rambunctious, which means absolutely full of energy and all over the place. Then we have reams, which is just another way of saying a lot. A ream is actually how we measure paper. 
So when you get great big things of printer paper, you're usually getting a ream of it. And then we had tenacious, which means stubborn and not willing to give up no matter what. And my other favorite word from this book, cavorting, which just means running around and having a really great time. So what other fun words did you learn from this book? And if you have words that you didn't know, do you have a dictionary in your house that you could use to find out what they mean? If you don't have an actual dictionary, it's possible that a device like a tablet or your phone might have a dictionary app that could also help you learn these new words. This book was lots of fun to me and very funny, and so I'm going to leave all of you with a joke from one of our wonderful joke books we have in our collection. So if you think this is funny, we've got lots of books like this that you can check out. Are you ready? What kind of stories do rabbits like? The answer, cotton tails. I don't know if that was a good joke or not, but you can find lots of jokes here at the library. And we hope that you will sign up for Bunny's Book Club through Read Squared and that we'll see you here at the library soon. Goodbye.